Because it's going to be like, I don't know what the hell she's talking about. Okay, you're not going to. Um, so here's the general equation. It's AX minus H plus K. Okay, this is the general equation. And I'm going to try to see what you guys are writing that down. Um, okay, so when we look at this, our K, what this K is going to do, if it's on the outside, it's if it's a plus, we go up. If it's a minus, we go down. Okay, and then this inside um, does our left and our right, and we do the opposite. And then this A is going to be our slope. And if it's a negative, then the graph is going to look something like that. Okay, so take a second, write those down. Um, Okay, so when we look at these, okay, we need to ask ourselves a series of questions. And we need to say, well, is this gonna be on the inside or the outside? By that I mean, is it, you see these bars, okay? Um, those bars mean absolute value, okay? And I think that we've done absolute value this semester already. So absolute value is just, it takes whatever's inside the bars and it makes it positive, okay? So, um, and we have done that, okay? And we had to um, set one as positive, one as negative, okay? Um, so that's essentially what that's doing. And these graphs in general look like, um, they look like a graph that's shaped like a V, and it's gonna be perfectly symmetrical V. It's always gonna start at zero, zero, and it's gonna have a slope of one, so meaning up one over one, up one over one, up one over one. And we have to make the other side. So up one over one this way, up one over one this way, up one over one this way. And that's what our general graph is going to look like. What we're doing and what we're going to do is graph and shift them. Okay. So if we look at um, number one, okay, if we were to look at number one, well, I can see here that there's nothing on the outside. If there was something on the outside, it would be like plus zero. Okay, there, there's nothing there. So that means we don't shift up or down. Okay, and this is on the inside, this minus three. And so on the inside does our left and right. And we're gonna do the opposite. And so most of us are gonna wanna say, well, go towards the minus three. But in all reality, we go towards the plus three. So we always start here at zero, zero. And on this very first one, I'm gonna draw you um, the longer way to draw these multi-step graphs. Um, the second one, I'm not going to. Okay, so this is our original mommy and daddy graph. Okay, without any shifting, without doing anything, um, it has a slope of one. Okay, and we can see that this looks like a perfect V. Okay, it's symmetrical on both sides. So we know that we don't shift this graph up and down, but we do know we shift it left or right, and we gotta do the opposite. So we go three, and instead of negative three, we're gonna do the opposite. So that means that now my graph starts here at this black one, and it's gonna have a slope of one. So you go up one over one, up one over one. Okay, this is that first side of that V. Now we need to make the V on the other side. So up one over one. Okay, and so now we can see that from my original graph, this blue one, and I shifted it three units, because that's what this says, it's on the inside. Okay, we shifted it three units. It's still the same graph, it's just shifted.
okay? It is still totally the same graphics chip. Okay, so if we look at number three, Okay, so number three, we say, well, is that one on the inside of the bars or the outside of the bars? Outside. It's on the outside. And so we can look at our notes and we can say, well, what does the outside of the bars do? Okay, well, the outside of the bars is this K. And so we go up or down. So if it's a plus, we go up. If it's a minus, we go down. Okay, we always start at zero. So that's here. And it says go up one. So instead of my graph starting here at zero, it's really gonna start here at one, at positive one. We go up one. Okay, and so we're gonna go up one over one, up one over one. Okay, and you don't have to make this many dots, okay? Um, in all reality, I'm cool with like five dots, okay? So um, like the center dot where it starts and then two on each side is good, okay? But you cannot do like this, you can't just, that is not accurate, it's not true, you can try. I don't, don't tell me that crap. Okay, so um, at least draw the, the center and then the first two, okay? Okay, so let's look at, um, five, okay? So five, we say on the inside or outside? Is it on the inside or outside? That plus two, is it on the inside of those bars or on the outside of those bars? Outside. So on the outside, and so the outside we do up and down. So it starts at zero as our original. So that means I need to go up two. So it's gonna be here, up two. So we go up one over one on both sides. And this is what I was saying. Um, you only really need to draw five points. You can do it that small, it's totally fine. Okay, seven, we say, well, is that on the inside or outside? Okay, seven, it's on the outside, and the outside does our up, down. Okay, so are we gonna go up one or down one? Down. We're gonna go down one. Okay, so we start at negative one, because we always start at zero, so we gotta go down one, and we say up one over one, up one over one. Up one over one, up one over one. And now I got this perfect V. Jackson. Yeah. Okay, number nine. Is that one on the inside or the outside? Uh, it's on the inside. The inside does our left and right, and we have to do the opposite, okay? So we always start at zero, zero, okay? And so most of you guys are gonna go to, wanna go, it does the left and right, okay? You guys are gonna wanna go towards that negative one. On the inside, we gotta do the opposite. So we really go towards the positive one. That means my graph starts here, that positive one. 